Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So here we do not have any drastic changes on the gold market. If you'll take a look at the high time frames and weekly time frame in particular, you will see that gold currently will has some problems with the breaking is at 2015 and high standing levels. And this is because when recent five, six weeks, market was not able to close above this area. So definitely some sellers step in once the market is exceeding uh, 2015 area and moves back to the previous tops around 2017 and so on. Well, um, technically it is uh, explained by just existence of the monthly oversold area and uh, yearly pivot resistance one. So of course we have the fundamental background to that as well. Uh, but uh, now we're talking about the technical picture. And this mostly explains why we last week were trading gold in the downside direction mostly. At the same time, longer term trend still stands bullish. And currently on all this performance, we should treat just as a pullback on long term bullish trend. Besides on recent few sessions, you can see that overall retracement is slowing down. So after the first collapse here, market was not able to show the same uh, same size of the drop. So actually, this was just returning back to the previous lows. Um, this actually makes us to keep the same scenario, same trading plan that we were following in the last week. Currently, we're considering 1980, 1990 area, and probably we will use it as a floor for the coming week. So potential targets tend to run them and see what will happen next. Because uh, based on the fundamental uh, background is the turmoil around the debt sale logically gold should not have actually should not have lack of the demand so most investors should keep watching over it and uh, thinking about for diversification of the portfolios and adding maybe the gold metal uh, because the overall time is not really very calm so so everything could change just uh, in the next session uh, so uh, that's why we would not expect that there will be some collapse or something that's sort until the debt sale problem will be resolved so at least the two weeks we have just because generally Yellen said that she will inform the congress in two weeks when they just fed funds exhausted and then the united states treasury funds exhausted the providing liquidity for the national government operation. So we will see. On the follow time frame chart, market second time is challenging the millennium area since 2011. So first drop, pullback second drop, uh, now stands right there, but trend remains bearish. And we treat this pullback mostly as a retracement by far. We are not consider yet that this is uh, the something great some reversal or attempt to go back to the previous steps uh, and uh, from that standpoint it would be better first to see what reaction market will give us on resistance on the hourly chart because take a look with this abcd pattern as levels as major levels as 618 level from this top just increase the picture for you let's take a look with this abcd performance op agrees perfectly with the same 2030 area. It's a confluence and agreement. Potentially, we also could get the cartridge tipple to sell. And this is potentially interesting area for taking the short position. Also, it will be interesting what response market will give us. So in a case, if it will just break it up and keep going higher, that will be a big challenge for a possible upward continuation. So in this case, indeed, the market may be turning the direction, at least on the short term charts, could, keep, in, could uh, keep going higher. While 
just forming the patch and turning down once again tells us that shot and bearish context that we were following last week mostly still stands intact. And if it will happen so, we still will keep an eye on this target, which is 1984. It's major ABCD pattern, o, uh, XOP, and it's perfectly agrees with the daily confidence that we discussed actually last week as well. So that's in short uh, our trading plan, what we intend to do on the gold market. But first, we intend to see what will happen around this area. <laughs>